Hello aspiring or current virologists, today I'll be showing you how to create and cure viruses on Paradise Station. Before I start, I would highly recommend following along with the Paradise Station Wiki Guide to Virology. It will be in the description. Mr. Baldy will be helping me today for pointing out to what I'm referring to. Are you ready Mr. Baldy? <coughs> Great. The first thing you're wanting to get is your biohazard suit. Is to get your biohazard suit. This suit keeps contact-based viruses from infecting yourself or others. Another good practice is to wear your latex gloves and have an internal air system running. This will help against any airborne viruses. The first machine you'll be using is the Smart Virus Fridge. This fridge has the following items for you to use. Spacicillin syringes. Spacicillin can be used to cure many illnesses and viruses. For the ones it cannot cure, it slows the progression of the disease to allow time to develop a cure or vaccine. Rhinovirus Culture Bottle. This bottle, or the flu culture bottle, is what you will be starting with to create your own virus. The unstable mutagen model, a reagent to mutate your virus with. A plasma dust bottle, a reagent to mutate your virus with. Diphenhydramine bottle. This is used to remove a single random symptom from your virus. The next machine you'll be using is the Pandemic 2200. Don't ask me what the acronym means. This is the main machine you'll be using as a virologist. You place the beaker containing your virus or a blood sample. A new screen will show up and have some buttons for you to mess with. A release form will be a paper that has information about your virus on it, such as symptoms, transmission vector, and other details. Creating a virus culture will produce a small bottle with said virus. You'll also have the option to name your virus when you select this option. The common name is most likely only going to show up when you're dealing with an RNG disease outbreak, or a level 7 biohazard outbreak. The description is about the same as the common name. It'll give a basic prompt of an engineered virus which will contain a multitude of symptoms. Spread will tell you how it's transmitted. The vectors are contact, blood, air, or special, aka non-human vector. Possible cure will tell you what chemicals have the highest chance of curing the disease. When you work on a beneficial virus, the cure will almost always be salt. The symptoms will show you what symptoms are in the beaker. You can have a maximum of six symptoms on a single virus. Though this can be difficult to obtain due to after reaching four symptoms, there is a chance of any new mutation to take over a previous symptom instead of adding to it. So now you know what each of your machines are and what they do, let's go over with what you need to do for the job. The items you'll most likely be using for this is a beaker, a pipette or dropper, your flu bottles, regions, and your bio bag. A pipette is preferred to dropper due to it being able to transfer one unit of a reagent. Now that you have everything, let's put your, your flu or your rhinovirus into the pandemic machine. The flu that I put into the beaker in the machine spreads by blood. It's possible to cure is orange juice and the symptom is cough. I'm going to be using my pipette to transfer one unit of plasma dust into the beaker. A reaction occurs and a new symptom is created randomly. The symptom is spontaneous combustion. If I was an evil biologist, I would say that that was a good symptom to have. In this case, however, I'm going to remove it. Just remember to not hit the empty and eject beaker button that sits right next to the normal eject button. I managed to do this to myself multiple times recording this. To remove a symptom, I will grab the diphenhydramine and transfer one unit. This removes a single symptom randomly in the virus. If you have a symptom you like, name it what you desire. I usually use a number system like 1 for my first good symptom and then increase the number for every desirable symptom culture that I create. It's always good to have a current backup virus culture bottle stored just in case you get an unwanted symptom. Following the wiki of symptoms related to chemicals, you can build your own desired virus. A semi-important factor to viruses is how they work. They work with four types of stats. Stealth, resistance, stage speed, and transmission. Each symptom your virus has changes these stats. I can't go through all the different types of symptoms and how they change these stats, but the Wikipedia has all of them next to each symptom. A stealth of 2 or higher will hide your disease from med huds, health analyzers, and a full body scanner. Stealth of 3 or higher will hide it from the pandemic machine. Transmission is determined as follows. Disease transmission, the amount of symptoms. If you have a transmission level of 2 or lower, it's blood. Transmission level of 3 to 5 is contact. 3 is by feet, 4 is by hands, and 5 is by touch in general. 
and six or more is airborne. However, sneezing will allow the virus to spread airborne once it reaches stage four. For releasing your virus to the public, it is important to go through the proper paperwork channels or at risk to be de demoted. When you have your virus that is ready to distribute, hit the name disease, name it, and then hit the print release form. After this is done, review it to make sure it's everything you want. And then contact the chief medical officer or CMO in short to look over it and approve it. Once the CMO consents to the release, bring your printed virus culture bottles or of your named virus to chemistry to create into pills or just for distribution. I would recommend having multiple papers for your virus around just to make sure one is available if anyone asks for it. So let's say there's a virus you need to cure. The first thing you do is to isolate any infected persons. This is usually not feasible though due to the large amount of crew normally on station and some people's refusals to go to medbay. Next thing you do is scan them and determine what the possible cure might be. For the most normal vi virology viruses, the cure is salt. Once administering the possible cure and it being hopefully cured, take a blood sample of that cured crew member. Take that sample and then transfer it into a beaker, load it into the pandemic machine, and print an antibody vaccine model. This guide should allow you to start making viruses with greater ease. I always recommend to have the wiki open ready to look whenever you're trying out new jobs. Or a job you've been playing for a thousand hours. Enjoy the RNG of virology.